Okay, well, we kind of got cut off there, um, but the first video was kind of good at getting us kind of through that initial um, setup of our two kind of UI elements, which are just two text boxes, and you can kind of see those there. Uh, we have those both set up here. Um, and so I was just talking about we're going to add um, a script now to um, our project here. And so this is where we're going to get actually the connection of the code uh, to Unity. Um, hopefully we've, you've finished uh, Structured Programming 2 and so you're familiar with the language C Sharp um, and we're going to kind of continue to work with that language um, within this game design kind of module here. So um, the next thing I'm going to get you to do is I'm just going to get you to click on Intro Text there and then if you scroll down to the, the bottom of the inspector there it says Add Component. We're going to click on that and then we're going to go New Script. Um, we're going to call this script, uh, we're going to give it a name uh, text controller and inside there you can see you have a choice of languages there we're gonna leave that at C sharp that's what we want to use and then we're just gonna create an ad um, now once that's there if you click on the assets uh, we should see now <clears throat> if you click under the on the project tab assets there we should now see we now have this text controller C sharp file and so we're gonna actually use that now Along with uh, the install of Unity, it comes with Mono Develop, and so when I double click on this text controller here, um, it's going to open up this script in Mono Develop, and so we're going to be able to see that. And this is actually where we're going to start adding some code now. Uh, Mono Develop, you can see, is kind of fired up there, and kind of a familiar look to us um, if you're coming from a C sharp background already. Uh, some using statements at the top here, and we're actually going to add one um, that's going to allow us to kind of interact with those UI elements. And so we're going to add a using statement uh, that is using Unity uh, Engine, and you can see that's coming up with uh, just like working within Visual Studio, it's got uh, uh, like an IntelliSense kind of format where that's going to kind of guess what we're going to do, and we can see what we have access to do. Um, within each of these classes here. So, uh, so Unity Engine UI, so we're going to add that there. And then notice that uh, inside of, of this script, um, there's two kind of default things that are set up with inside there. There's a, there's a start, okay, which is obviously going to fire when we start um, the script. And then we have an update, which is going to actually fire, it says even here, update is called once per frame. And so every time the frame is um, depending on the frame rate, I guess, if that's 21 or whatever that is, um, that's going to fire every time <coughs> um, the frame is up or the scene is kind of updated, and that's going to be fairly often. So um, you're going to see that there. Now, what we're going to add in here is we're going to add in a public text, and we're going to call it actually, it's capital text, and we're going to call this text variable, the first one let's call intro, and then we're going to add another one, we're going to call it public text, which is the type, and then we'll say instruct. Okay, and so one of those we're going to obviously have an intro in, uh, one of those text kind of variables we're going to have instructions in. And so <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to have um, on startup, we want to kind of get like a welcome message, so in that instruction text. And so what we'll do here is we'll just go intro dot text, which is the property of it, and then equals, and we know it's going to be have to be a string value, obviously. So we're going to put in there um, welcome to number guesser exclamation mark closed. A quotation mark and then a semicolon to end that. Just typical kind of C-sharp uh, syntax there. So we should be familiar with that. So that should look familiar. We're setting a text property uh, to a string value there. Um, and then at the start we're also going to have, let's have our instruct, instruct, um, let's have it give some instructions. So instruct text, we are going to say, get it to say a, a few things. We're going to say, um, Pick a number between, uh, and we're going to actually have an integer value here. This, I'm going to show you just kind of a little tidbit here. Plus, <clears throat> let's go up here and let's add another um, 
let's add another public variable before we continue. Let's add actually three public variables. So let's add an integer value of max, and we're going to set that to 1,000. We're going to enter an integer value of min, and we'll set that to 1. And then we're going to have an integer value of, we're just going to call it half. It's going to be actually our guess value, but we're going to set that to 500. And so those are going to be set there. Now, a weird thing that I noticed about when moving from Visual Studio to, Studio to Unity is that um, I don't have to do two string when I'm converting an integer value to um, a text property. So I can just put in here plus um, min, and then I could go plus, and then I could go, let's move, we better put a space here so this is obviously, so this is gonna be plus the value of min there, and then it's gonna go and um, space again on both sides plus max, um, and that should be enough to start. <clears throat> and let's just, give, let's just give a little instructions here. Um, uh, let's put a period and a space there, and let's say um, press up. Pick a number between, well, let's set this up a little bit. Pick a number between one and a thousand, this will say. Um, and then we'll say, um, don't tell me I will guess it. And then we'll kind of close those. Um, Actually, you know what? I'm just. This is going to be a long string. This is why I have instructions here. Um, is the number greater or less than? And then we're going to have brackets. This is a really poor way to kind of put this, but let's just let's kind of put these on several lines here. This is such a long string. I, I was afraid of that with the instructions. So pick a number between, this is going to end up being 1 and 1,000. Don't tell me. I will guess it. Is the number greater or less than? And then we're going to have a plus half. So it's original instructions. And then plus um, period. And then from there, actually, let's put a question mark. Press up for greater press down for less press return for equal and I think we're finally through this text <laughs> here uh, so we can kind of put a period there and I said this is probably the longest string you probably ever added to programming. Uh, but it's going to give us instructions to start with there. Okay. <clears throat> now, I may want to just put this back on one line. We'll see how this, this works here. Um, it's a long set of instructions, but um, I'm going to get the, the information. And that's why I have this as instruction text. So it says here, pick a number between 1 and 1,000. This is going to say, don't tell me, I will guess it. Is the number greater or less than 500? And then it says press up for greater, press down for less, press return for equal. And that's how we kind of want this to start out. Now, <clears throat> those are our two text strings, and that's all we really added. Um, we've added some integer values here. Now let's go, let's save this. So go file save or control S. Uh, and let's go back to, and just minimize, and let's just go back to here. Now, um, we have introduced right away, if I go down and I, I text, click on that intro text, and I scroll down, what I can see is I can see that I have the text controller set up, which is here as my kind of scripter, but notice that it put in those intro and instruct um, uh, text values, but I need to link them. And so the way I'm going to link them is I'm going to scroll down over here, I'm going to click on, and then it's going to link that intro text to that um, intro text that I declared in that text controller. 
And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to link this one to the instruct. And so now, <clears throat> when we kind of start up or we, or we load, uh, we should get these text values now changing. So let's see if that actually is going to run. I'm just going to save here too, save the scene, and then let's just run this and see what we get. Okay, so welcome to Number Guesser. It says, pick a number between 1 and 1,000. Don't tell me. I will guess it. Is the number greater or less than 500? Press up for greater, press down for less, press return for equal. Uh, so just as I expected, it's set up the UI and the script is run on startup. And so we're kind of good to go to the next step. So I can just click on that play button again. I can see the tint disappear and we're kind of in business there.